This is a dot storming tutorial for the basics of using dot storming. Hopefully from this tutorial you get an idea of how to create a dot storming board and run your first session. So let's begin. Firstly you want to come to dotstorming.com. If you've got an account, log in. If not, create your account. So I'm going to create my account and for this tutorial I'm going to call it tutorial at gmail.com. I don't own the rights to that email address, so please don't email me on it. So, creating the account. When you first create an account with Dot Storming, you'll be greeted by the board, Welcome to Dot Storming. Clicking into that will tell you some details of different card types and some more things about the site, basically what this video is going to tell you. So I won't go into that now. Clicking on Add a Board, it will pop up the Add a Board dialog. This will allow you to put in the title of the board. I'm going to call this one Tester. Description, testing, here we go. The number of votes per person. This is the number of votes that each participant with the board will receive. Generally it's three, but you can put as low as one and as many as ten. Let's go with two, just to make it interesting. Also, whether the board's password protected, so when someone comes to the board, they'll have to put in a password to access the board. That's only a feature of the gold account, but it's worth mentioning now. Also, how the board shared. Is this something which anyone with the link can get to, or do you need to email the people an invite to join in the board? As well as that, there's the additional tab. This will give you some more control options for the board, but I won't go into that now, I'll go into that more in further videos. So, clicking create the board, Dot Storm will now initialize the board and take you to it. I'm going to create an incognito window and simulate someone else coming to the board as well. So when someone comes to this board, they'll have the ability to enter their name to participate and little else. They'll be able to see the content of the board depending on whether your password protecting it. So let's put our name in. We'll call ourselves tester. Once the participant joins, you'll see they get the add a card button, upload an image button, and have the ability to start chatting. This all dates in real time on as the owner of the board. So as someone joins, you'll see they add to the participant list, and any chat they add comes into here. Once all the people have joined, you can start adding your cards. So Let's start adding our cards. Participants may start adding cards. And you can start to add images. Clicking upload an image and selecting image. You'll see this all gets updated in real time for every participant in the board. Once you've all finished adding cards, or even as you're going, you can start to vote on them. So clicking votes, you'll see it removes the number of votes available from the right hand corner. You can click again to remove a vote that you previously placed and add it somewhere else. So the participant might also be doing the same thing at the same time. And you'll notice as the votes get distributed, the colour green is applied to the vote card which has got the most votes. Once everyone is done with all their voting, you can click rank by vote. And you can see which cards have got the most votes. And that's basically it. You've just done a dot storming session. I'll now return to the main menu just to give a quick overview of some of the other features of a board. Clicking here, you can see you can edit a board. This will allow you to change things like the title of the board, the description of the board, the number of votes per person, though that is only moving forward, so any previous votes will still count, whether the board's password protected and how it can be shared. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful and it gets you started with using dot storming. Thanks.